Okay, so I'm back on this thing. This is 63 Chevy short box, step side, blah, 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 my LS swap. And I've just been getting my ass handed to me on this thing. Let me walk you through what's going on. Let me show you where we're at. Um, so I put new exhaust manifolds on, uh, headers. You can see it touching, let's see if I can reach down here. Well, you can see it there, right there. It's touching the clutch rod. So I have an automatic transmission in here. I have a 4L80E, it doesn't matter to me. I'm gonna lop that off anyway. But in case you're running a manual and you plan on using that clutch rod and these cheap eBay headers or Amazon headers, I guess, that's gonna be a problem. So keep that in mind. I'm also putting new plugs. I put in new uh, spark plug wires over on this side. I did the same thing. I had to clearance my firewall a bit there because that one coil pack was actually making contact. So I had to pull the, the coil packs off and hammer in a little bit. Down here, the exhaust was actually making contact with the transmission. Maybe I'll... I'll just make a little clip here or something, kind of show you what I did. I ended up just running a uh, zip disc in there uh, just to make some, some room. And I think it gave me like, I don't know, three eighths of an inch or so. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, if you order those, those headers, the bolts that come with it don't work. I had to order some, some bolts off of Amazon Felpro uh, ES75120. So there's the ones that came with the header. They don't fit. Like, well done. Uh, what else did we get done here? So I ordered this piece in from Speedway. So it's uh, one and a quarter down here, one and a half over here, and then also your line for your steam ports. So and then a little 90 up here. Got a spring in there. That'll hold well. And then on the bottom, I used the factory one. I had to cut her short. That's about it. So that's good as well. This is uh, some Amazon 63 factory rad. It comes with an electric fan. Not 100% sure I need it yet. We'll, uh, we'll know more on that soon enough, I guess. The biggest headache I had was my harness. That, that damn harness. So initially I ordered one in, it showed up. It was drive-by cable instead of drive-by wire. This is a drive-by wire setup. So I turned that around, sent it back, ordered another one. It showed up on my fly day. So I work out of town. So on the day I was leaving back to work, it showed up. When I got home, I went to go install it. At another So a week later and then another week later, I go to install it, it's the wrong one. So I send it back, order another one. Third one shows up. Second verse, same as the first, it's wrong. I now have my fourth harness and I think it's right. Um, this is the piece that's been giving me all the, all the grief. Nothing I've had before had this one, this one plug. Um, the one that came in now does have that plug. I haven't gone through the rest of it. Um, it's all just kind of laying in here right now. I will, uh, I'll, I'll throw it through. This is what I ended up doing for my transmission. So this is a uh, an NPT fitting to AN. So it goes NPT to AN, and then this AN fitting, it's gonna be my, uh, my transmission lines out to my radiator. And that's what this is right now. I need to get a couple more fittings to adapt from that to this. I'll get that done soon enough. Um, and that's pretty much where we're at. Uh, I'm just waiting for CJ to show up. I said he was gonna be here for 10 o'clock. I don't know what time it is now. It's probably, oh, what do we got here? 10.15, probably 
Should be here within the hour, I imagine. Anyway, we did have to, I had to extend this. This is just kind of mocked up for now, but Brad's in there pretty good. I don't think it's going anywhere. Um, rad hoses we covered. I do have to do something with this power steering line. So I don't have a pump for it to go to. Uh, I don't know, figure it out. I might just circle it back to itself. I don't know. Maybe I can get rid of this and put an idler down there. I don't know. If you know, let me know. But I don't have power steering in this truck yet, so I don't really need this. Um, so yeah, when you come back, CJ will probably be here and we'll start feeding our um, wiring harness through there. Good place for it? I don't know. We'll find out though. I want to feed it through there. I'd like to kind of hide it underneath this cover as best I can. Um, and then down at the starter, I have the starter out because there's one to plug in behind the starter. I don't know if it really needs to be out. But, you know, it's two bolts, not difficult. Uh, so yeah, that's where we're at. So, and the snap of the fingers, we'll be back. Let me try that again. I pulled the round tranny connector a little bit. Okay. All right, so we're pulling it through the firewall here. It's CJ on the other side. We want to try and make these connections as clean as possible, hide as much as we can underneath here, plug in here, etc. And that'll be that'll be the key to what we're trying to achieve here. All right, come on out. Let's see what we can't do. That's way back here. Yeah, it's back. I feel like these four are, are our injectors. That is a five pin. I wonder if it's just this is the wrong piece. How's everything else looking? Uh, well, I don't have one for here yet. That's right. That's not it? No, it's a different style. But I almost wonder if we're better off just to get whatever this is, but with the right pin, with the right connector from the junkyard. You can see this is kind of like, like the middle piece. If you look in here, it's more of a triangle. Is it two? It's still a two. Well, why don't we just take it off the other harness? Do that too. Okay. 
So we ended up switching sides on this. Um, I think everything kind of lays into place a little bit better. What are your thoughts, Siege? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, it's much better. Yeah, I think so too. So, so um, this is the side of the, this is the our starter stuff and our O2 sensor. That still is yet to be hooked up as well as our um, transmission goodies. But we're hooked up here, mass airflow, throttle body. Uh, what's this here? IAC maybe? I don't know. The thingy and the doohickey? Crank sensors and thingy and the doohickey. Yes. Yeah. and the whatchamacallit. And right now I'm hooking up the thingy and the bobs. And yeah, so I'm going to get this side all hooked up and we'll come back. I think I got it. Okay, so. I'm uh, back. Didn't get a whole lot done this set of days off on this thing. Did, it's not that we didn't get anything done. We did get some stuff done. Let me go through what we got here. So I got my headers on. That's great. New plugs. That's wonderful. Um, I got new, new wires. I got my harness in. Uh, finally, that came in. That's it. Peeking through the back of the firewall there. Um... I still have a little bit more wiring to finish up. I got my rad in, I got my rad hoses in. I got this neat little adapter fitting from Summit. It kind of adapts between your, your factory, what is this, inch and three quarter hose and the inch and a quarter hose, or maybe that's inch and a half. Um, back under here, I got all my wiring tucked back in here. So it comes in through there, slips down and across, or maybe it's up and over. Yeah, it's up and over. And it's down here right now, just getting the fuel pump wired up. This is gonna be for my throttle by wire or drive by wire pedal. So we're getting real close. Um, I'll show you what I got for fuel pump. This is my my fuel setup right now. Um, so this is a, a fuel pump and that feeds into this regulator. What comes out here is 58 PSI, I believe it is. And then this is uh, feeds back to the, to the tank. So anything over 58 PSI goes back to the tank. So that'll go in underneath, but in the meantime, we just want to hook this up and get it running uh, off of a jerry can or whatever. And that's it. So, um, I don't know, what am I, a couple hours away from being ready to get that thing flashed? I'm hoping so. Uh, I got some big things coming up from, I don't know, we'll get to that after. But that's where we're at. So... We're, we're getting pretty damn close. We we got the exhausts on with the spark plugs, with the spark plug wires, with the complete wiring harness. Um, it's just a matter of tidying up a few more little things. If I had another two or three hours, we'd have her done. And then maybe Russ could come by and uh, give us a hand with that, flashing that ECM. I'm really... Looking forward to that and getting this thing fired up. But that's going to do it for this one. Make sure you check back because we're going to get this thing going my next set of, set of days off in another week's time. I promise you that. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing so. And see if an old man can figure out how to LS swap a truck. <clears throat> we're going we're gonna to find out here right quick. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you.